Welcome to Sports Talk here on WYLN, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. Brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network Hazleton. Coach Bookman's Cougars are 3-0. And they have a tough battle at Wilkes-Barre area coming up Friday night. We go over their victory against North Pocono. I have a special guest from the Cougar football team. That's all this week on Sports Talk. Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network Hazleton. It can happen over time or in a snap. If joint or muscle pain has taken you out of the game, we can identify the root cause of your problem and develop a sport-specific treatment plan to get you moving again. Over 400 medical experts strong, the region's only nationally ranked program. That's Orthopedics in Action at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Two Italian Guys Pizzeria, 3 West Diamond Avenue in Hazleton has all your favorites. From pizza, hoagies, salads, entrees, wings, and sides. Always made with the freshest ingredients. Call them at 570-459-2783. Your guide to everything Pocono Mountains is PTN, the Pocono Television Network. Tune in and see all the unique places to stay and things to do in the Pocono Mountains. Watch PTN on WYLN. You always get a feel-good shopping experience at Grand Central in Hazleton. Have you ever experienced that super pushy salesperson who follows you all around? Not here. Who wandered around that big box store looking for help in the appliance department only to find the pink guy? Not here. And we have an experienced courteous sales staff here to help you find the perfect mattress, piece of furniture, or appliance with no pressure. And don't forget, everyday low prices. You always get a feel good shopping experience at Grand Central in Hazleton. Welcome back to Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football here on WYLN. And as always, brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network Hazleton. I'm your host, Marty Burns. Joined as always by the Cougars head football coach, Dennis Boatman. And coach, big victory in your home opener, 54-7 first. Uh, before we get to the game itself, the atmosphere Friday night in front of that home crowd. Uh, certainly. The, the atmosphere was, was incredible. It, it was great for our, our players to be able to play in front of our, our home fans, uh, our, our community. We, we told our players since the offseason um, that we, we did so much in the community throughout this offseason, volunteer work, um, you know, certainly putting time in. And, you know, we told our players that the community in turn would reward them by, by showing up and supporting. They certainly did. Um, you know, we're, we're so grateful to have that support and we appreciate everybody who attended the game and also viewed the game um, on TV as well. Put up 54, got great contribu contributions offensively, special teams got a score, but once again I thought the defense set the key, uh, set the, uh, the tone for the night in stopping Blaine and the, and the North Pocono running game. Absolutely. I, we talk about our defense, you know, each and every week and how we continue to improve. Um, I, I believe on the night we had seven three and outs. Uh, so you, you talk about uh, setting the tone. That that first possession there, we, we won the coin toss. We deferred to the second half. We wanted to put our defense on the field, and we responded immediately. Um, contributions uh, throughout the defense. We, we had a tremendous play from our defensive line on the night. Our our inside backers really answered the call and the challenge. Um, outside backers, our back half guys in the secondary, I mean, and, and our focus certainly was, and rightfully so, because he's a great player. Michael Blaine, being able to stop him and, and that potent offense that they have, wanting to keep the ball on the ground so much. And, you know, our, our guys, like I said, they answered the call and they were excited to be able to play in front of our fans. I thought our, our game plan in all three phases was pretty sound, and our, our players uh, did a great job of executing that game plan throughout the night. And I know coaches, whether it's here on the high school level or you go all the way up to the pro level, they always say get off the field and Jim Burns gave us a great step before we went off the air. And it goes to that defense. 0 for 12 was North Pocono on third down. 
And a lot of that is due to the fact that a lot of those third downs were third and long. It, it's truly tremendous when when you think about that. We made that a point of emphasis, you know, this off season. Uh, I tell Sam Poor all the time. He's he's one of our energy guys, and every third down in the summer, we made sure to be able in our situational things. Uh, we told Sam all the time, remind everybody, third down, it's our money down. We got to get off the field. And Friday night, every time it's third down, Sam Poor, you see him on, on the field, making sure to remind everybody. Everybody, that third down Hazelton area gets off the field and we were able to do that on Friday night and uh, like I said what a what a display that was put on by our football team and let's get a look at some of that display as we get to the highlights quite an extensive list and uh, what coach loves, Mattius and company. Uh, you talk about Ryan Mattius, such a special player. Uh, inside linebacker, outside linebacker, you could put him anywhere. He, he's the heart and soul of our team. And we go down a number to number nine, Coleman and company. Uh, Xander Coleman, we talked about our inside linebacker. Xander Coleman, Kayvon Miner, uh, you see Max Dakona, Sam Poro, uh, contributions for so many guys. And this just simply is Big John. Big John, oh, what a player he's become. He's completely transformed his body. Uh, tremendous job. And you break out the option, Coach. Here's Connor Kundrat with the first score of the night. We'll look at it twice. Absolutely. Off the motion by Matthew Bookman, we got eyes away from the option here. Uh, Tyler Wolf does a great job of being able to possess the football, work downhill, and be able to get the pitch off late. Great job by Ryan Mattias. You see Ryan Calcano out in front there, and Connor Kundrat does a great job of finishing off the run. Then North Pocono would go off sides on the point after, so you go for two. Uh oh. We talk about being able to continue to steal points here, taking a, a, a play from Coach Curry and being able to, to get an extra point out of that point after. Well, that was duly noted, you can be sure. Kayvon Miner here. Uh, Q, as we call him, Kayvon Miner, all over the field, double digit tackles in all three games so far. He, he, he's having an unbelievable year early on this season. Another look at Xander Coleman. Uh, Xander Coleman, inside linebacker. Xander plays Mike for us. Kayvon plays our, our, our buck backer position and both do so such a great job. This young man had a big night running with the football and that's Matthew Bookman. Matthew Bookman, he was able to, to be the, the one cut back that, that we know and love for him. He's such a physical runner. Uh, once he gets his shoulder square, 20 carries, 167 yards on the night. Uh, just had a, had a great night for us. Another player that had a great night, Matthew Casadas. Absolutely, Matthew Casadas. You know, is is electric when he has the ball in his hands. You see guys out in front being able to block for him. Great job of pressing the edge immediately and getting downfield. Now we have a touchdown catch. A great effort here by Ryan Mattias. R Ryan Mattias, one of his three on the night here. Uh, all three receiving, as as Coach Drumheller uh, noted as well. Great job of being able to finish the run. Angry, violent runner after he gets the ball in his hands. Great job by Ryan Mattias. Look at it again, and the thing I love about a lot of your uh, players. They don't go down on the first hit. Absolutely. They, they don't go down on the first contact. And look at guys downfield. Look at Matthew Casadas getting getting eyes upfield now, being able to um, spring another block to allow Ryan to score. Some D from our guest last week, Sam Poro. Absolutely. Sam, we talk about uh, the player he's become. He's all over the field on both sides of the ball. Uh, what a play there by Sam Poro. Now we get the passing game here to Matthew Casadas. Uh, great job here uh, first uh, on the play action game by Tyler Wolf and Matthew Bookman. Great throw being able to hit it on the outside shoulder. Matthew Casadas finishes the catch and then is able to get upfield. Another big run from Matthew Bookman. Uh, absolutely here. Uh, I mean you, you see wide receivers on the edge. Great job stock blocking by Kundrat, Shimani, Casadis, you see our guys up front working. And great job at Matthew Booker finishing the run. Let's do it again, coach. Let's go 10 for six. Absolutely. Ryan Mattias here for touchdown number two. Does a great job. We out leveraged the corner immediately, which we knew we had as we worked throughout the week. Tyler Wolf throws a, a perfect pass, and Ryan Mattias is able to get a shoulder north for the touchdown. Because of the shovel, this ends up being a touchdown pass for Tyler Wolf, but what a play by Matthew Casas, and how about that speed? Absolutely. You talk about the jet here. Ryan Mattias with the key block, and then Xander Coleman being able to dig out the corner. You give Matthew Casas a crease, he's able to get his shoulder square. What a tremendous job by Matthew Casas of trusting his blocks, first of all, and then secondly, making a big time explosive play. Great D here by Connor Shimani. Absolutely. Squeezing down immediately was a tremendous T step there, being able to stay inside the framework of his body. Connor Shimani limits a, a pass there for plus three. 
What'd you say, Coach? 160 yards. Here's some more of that from Matthew Bookman. Absolutely. You, you talk about here being able to not only get out in space because of what we're doing up front, then being able to continuously drag defenders with them to be able to get extra yards. And here in the passing game, Connor Kundrat. Uh, you know, Connor Kundred, he does so much for us. Uh, you can find him in the backfield, you can find him at receiver, um, you can find him at tight end, uh, you can find him all over the field offensively for us. Does everything that he's asked. Uh, tremendous job there and a great job by Tyler Wolf. Here we see some pass defense on the screen. Uh, excellent job here of being able to recognize screen. Our defense alignment starts to retrace and Xander Coleman getting underneath the block. Now this is Poro and company. Uh, Sam Poro. Yeah, you love to see, look at all the, the white hats we have to the football uh, as well. It's a great job by our defense once again being able to pursue. Another nice run here by Matthew Bookman. Ryan Mattias makes the key block, uh, as you see up front, and Matthew Bookman's able to get his shoulders squared up once again, his foot stuck in the ground and get north. How about this D from Matthew Bookman? Uh, he, he, you know, we, we made a concerted effort to be able to bottle up a, a, a great player, Michael Blaine, throughout the night. I thought we did an excellent job of doing that, not only in the run game, but the pass game. Connor Shimani here with a catch. Excellent job by Connor Shimani being able to find the soft spot in the cover two. That was a big third down conversion. How about the throw by Tyler Wolf in the protection? And how about this catch by Ryan Mattias? Yeah, unreal catch here by Ryan. Great throw by Tyler to put it on his outside shoulder. Ryan's able to rotate his shoulder away from the defender for a big first down. You had to go to Matthew Bookman out of the Wildcat, and how about this effort? We're going to look at it twice. It, 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 this is just, uh, it, it's absolutely remarkable when, when you look at this and, and, and you know, I watch the film back and, and you see the effort by, by all of our guys, but, but certainly here you, you see, you, you see number one, this is, this is fourth and 14 here, and that's three, four, five, six, seven, Eight defenders, the ninth defender right here who has an opportunity to be able to bring him down and he just had it in his mind that he wasn't going to go down before he got in the end zone. It's a big time play and I thought that was kind of the sealer there to make it 35-7 after we had the ball for over seven minutes in the second half. And how about this play by Xander Coleman? Xander Coleman once again being able to pursue the ball, uh, a gap responsibility on that play and what a job from his Mike Backer position. Go back to the offense, and here's Matthew Cassas again, tiptoeing down the sidelines. The throw, the catch, yards after the catch, you see Ryan Mattias getting upfield immediately, looking to, to block for his brother. Everything about that play is truly remarkable. And another big run from Matthew Bookman. Once again, Ryan Mattias. It's kind of a theme here. You see all these big plays. Number 10 is involved in most of them, and his relentlessness to be able to get downfield and help block. Great run by Matthew Bookman there as well. And this is touchdown number three. We'll look at it twice. Even though Ryan Mattias gets the touchdown, the play was made by Tyler Wolf to uh, keep the play alive. Oh, for sure here. Uh, a little bit of a misread, but we talk about all the time. When we miss things, we're not going to panic. I'd love to see the ball protected here a little bit more, but how about the strength too? Tyler Wolf showing that uh, there's a reason why we, we were in the, the weight room since December here, and we truly believe that in our program. Great play by Tyler Wolf, an excellent catch by Ryan Mattis. Favorite play for coach? Team D. Uh, you love everything about it. You see so many white hats, so many red jerseys around the football continuously. Uh, we truly want to make that a staple in our program, and we have thus far. We've seen defense, we've seen offense. Why don't we throw in some special teams in Matthew Casado? Well, we talked about our, our play in all three uh, three phases on Friday night. I thought was was absolutely tremendous. Great job here by Matthew Casadas, immediately able to press the edge. You see Matthew Bookman, Kayvon Miner leading them downfield. Uh, just a, what a night and what a job by each one of our players and a great play by Matthew Casadas. And here a sophomore, Jordy Urena. Great play there by Jordy. He's getting better and better. Actually, we were just talking about him today in our coaches meeting, uh, continues to improve daily. And another sophomore, Hunter Johnson. Uh, uh, another guy we just talked about today. He actually had three tackles in his limited time here at, at the end of the game. What a job by Hunter Johnson. And then we have Carlos Gonzalez here who, who stole the show offensively. How about this stiff arm right there? <laughs> Absolutely. And you want to know what I, I, I love even more about that is as he's working still to get upfield, the ball's pressed, it's tucked, points of pressure, and he's able to still climb north. Here's another nice run. Uh, you see here he's behind his pads, low pad level through, balanced, finishes the run, gets inside the five here. 
and you confirmed his first career varsity touchdown. I'm really excited for Carlos. Continues to get better and better. Uh, we, we really think think uh, highly of this sophomore group that we have. Uh, they continue to to improve, and it, it's awesome for them to be rewarded on, on Friday, uh, playing in our, our first home game of the season in, in front of that crowd and being able to have our, our true JV group go in there and then score a touchdown in eight plays. Uh, you know, that, that was really neat to see. A lot of excitement and, and this is this is what makes uh, it really special. I, I think that Carlos was excited. Our varsity guys on the sideline were equally, if not more, excited for Carlos to be able to get in the end zone. We we had our our other backs, our skill guys. Uh, you see Juan Fabian on film jumping up and down, <laughs> going crazy. But that's when you know you, you have you have a family of yeah. what we're trying to build here. Guys who who aren't concerned who scores, but they're they're happy for everyone who has success in the program. And I've said it, and I know Coach Demelfi was very impressed with this Friday night. I have your roster here, and I think you could go down this roster and onto the second sheet. I think you got a contribution from everybody on that on this roster uh, Friday night. Sure, and, and that was something you know. I, I remember talking to you about one of our first shows. How, how it's important that there's truly buy-in from everybody player, coach, anyone affiliated with our program because everybody matters. And, and it's really important whether whether you're the guy to be a, a true scout team guy, whether you're a depth guy, whether you're the guy that gets all the, the limelight mm -hmm. on, on television or Mr. Stallone writes about you. Whoever you are, you have a place in this program. You're going to be loved equally and, and everyone's going to be rewarded of their commitment here. And certainly you saw that pay dividends on Friday. So coach, what, what do you think is a bigger honor? Whether you are class president or you score three touchdowns in the game. Well, you know what? We have a guy who is both coming up next. We are going to be graced by the senior class president at Hazleton Area High School. He also wears number 10 on the football team. Ryan Matthews, next. Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. Hey guys, it's Ray Merrill and Brandon Vicante from Blaze Alexander Greater Hazleton Mazda. Where's all your cars? Don't wait any longer. Come down and reserve yours today because they're sold before they hit the ground. Or you can do like these people did. You can order one with your color and options that you prefer. Or reserve one of our new incoming Mazda. So if you're in the market for a new Mazda, come on down to Blaze Alexander, see Adriel or Brandon, place your order or reserve your new Mazda today. Proud sponsor of Penn State Athletics. Penn State Hazleton is improving the lives of others, starting in our community. Providing degrees that meet the needs of the area. Fueling entrepreneurship and contributing more than $36 million annually to the state's economy. Researching the health of our local ecosystem on the Susquehanna River. Together, our impact keeps growing, backed by the strength of 24 campuses and 700,000 alumni. It can happen over time or in a snap. If joint or muscle pain has taken you out of the game, we can identify the root cause of your problem and develop a sport-specific treatment plan to get you moving again. Over 400 medical experts strong, the region's only nationally ranked program. That's Orthopedics in Action at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Memberships are available at the Valley Country Club in Sugarloaf. The new upgrades will leave you with a distinctive and unique experience unlike any other venue in Northeast PA. Call Frank Gratis, 570-233-5328, email vccpro at thevalleycountryclub.com. BLB Auto Sales, a division of Barbush Automotive. BLB has deals that can't be beat. They carry trucks, vans, SUVs, sedans, and sports cars, and all at the lowest prices. Barbush Automotive can handle all vehicle repairs since they do it all. Check out their specials, oil change and filter just $19.95, alignment $49.95. Professional and good people. Call 570-454-7571. Welcome back to Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. I'm your host, Marty Burns. And Sports Talk, as always, is brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. Our special guest this week, he had three touchdowns Friday night, one of the key leaders on the defense. We're talking about number 10, Ryan Matthews, but 
first and foremost, this young man, what, eighth grade. Yeah. Perfect score on his math keystones, but maybe the bigger honor. He's going to speak at graduation, so you, you need to look forward to that coming up uh, in the spring next year. The senior class president, Ryan Mattias. And Ryan, congratulations on all the accolades. Thank you. I mean, it's, I've been working for that for a long time. I mean, it was hard to achieve, but I got it done. Which part, the three touchdowns or the perfect score? Everything, well, all together. I heard you had a great campaign uh, committee that, that got you into your senior class presidency, and we'll just leave it at that. Those yeah. those members know who they are, right? Yep, Shimani, uh, Guzman, and Casadas. Well, we could have left them unnamed, but that's <laughs> fine. We'll, 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 put, we'll put them out there. Uh, let's, let's talk about this football team, and, and before we get to you offensively, defensively, I, I've said this to Coach, I, I thought – your defense may not get all the accolades it deserves, especially the way you guys have played the first three games. And I, as I said to Coach, I thought the key, Blaine, I believe at halftime, had six carries for one yard. And I think that was a big key because you put North Polk in a lot of third and longs. Just talk about the play of your defense. I mean, we've just been working hard. That was one of our goals this year was to get off the field more often. I mean, we just have to make make good use of our defense. We have a lot of weapons out there. I mean, we just have to make play after play. I mean, we've been doing good. Our varsity defense, we love two touchdowns this year. I mean, that's a lot. In three games, that's very good so far. I mean, we just got to keep making plays and stacking them up. And talk about through your career at Hazleton area, you've moved around a lot. Now you're back as outside linebacker. How is it to be back outside? It's nice out there. I mean, it's less. I mean, I'm not in the middle of everything anymore, but, I mean, I still get to make a lot of plays, and I get to see more. I'm more involved in the pass game, which I enjoy more, but I love inside and outside, so I couldn't really say which one I like more. Before we get to, to the touchdowns, the part of your game that doesn't get a lot of accolades because it's not pretty, but you do a lot of the dirty work blocking, whether it's for Matthew Bookman in the running game or, as Coach pointed out a couple times, in the pass game downfield for your receivers. Talk about the aspect, of that blocking aspect of your offensive game. I mean, it's just important for the whole team. Coach says the ball finds energy. If I'm not, and I have to put blocks out there for everyone, the more blocks I make, the ball's going to find me, and that's what happened this week. And the roles sort of got reversed on your first touchdown. You made that one defender miss, but from my vantage point, it looked like you weren't touched the rest of the way, and that's a credit to the guys blocking downfield yeah, on your touchdown. Yeah, because we all block for each other, and it just works out for the best because if, we all, if none of us block, none of us are going to make plays. So we all know if we each want to make plays, we all have to look out for each other and get downfield and make blocks and plays. Now, if it was me and all this talent on the team and they, they get all the attention downfield and – I'd be standing there two yards off the line of scrimmage wide open. I'd be afraid I'd drop it. But <laughs> talk about how all the attention can get taken downfield and it just creates openings for you all over. I mean, it works out great for me, cause especially with Matt Bookman in the backfield. Whenever I'm back there, a lot of the attention's on him. So, like, whenever we're running run plays with both of us both of us in the backfield, it opens right up for me. Even pass plays with Shimani and Casadas, especially on that second touchdown in the game, they took all the attention away. I was wide open, got to walk into the end zone almost. And we sort of talked about it uh, in our first show with Tyler Wolf. You guys are all seniors. You guys have all played together a long time. You're a veteran group. Is there a lot of times that certain things happen on the field, whether it's offensively, defensively, that you know you guys don't even necessarily have to say anything? You just give a look and you know where that player is going to be, so you know I can go here and that type of thing? Yeah, I mean, we have a chemistry built up. We've all been playing for three, four years. I mean, most of us have been playing for four years now. Some of our, the other ones have been playing for three. We just have chemistry. We know exactly what everyone else is doing, and we just need to make plays and keep getting better. We talked about it leading up to last Friday. Now that it's come and gone, as a senior, your final home opener at Harmon Geist, just talk about what that atmosphere was like for you and, and the rest of your senior teammates. I mean, it was a great feeling. I, I mean, I don't think we had that many fans in the stadium in a while now. I mean, to see that many people there and get a win in front of everyone, just basically dominate the whole game. I mean, it was a great feeling. Showed the fans what we have, but we still have a lot left to prove, and we have to get better week by week. We have a lot to achieve this year. And at least the last couple of years, uh, I think compared to Friday night, you got to see a lot of their smiles too. That was yeah, it. exactly. I mean, the band was quiet most of the night in a, for because they weren't playing their songs at the end when we were walking out the field with our heads down. It was nice to end the game with, in a good way and see all the fans happy, waiting for us, shaking our hands after the game. I mean, it was just a great feeling all around. Now, last thing for you, Ryan, when, when you get up there to give that speech on graduation night, 
Remember where you got your start in public speaking. I will. All, all right. right. I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> all right, Ryan. Thanks a lot for joining us, and best of luck Friday night. Thank you for having me, and thank you. And we're going to talk about the Wilkes Bear Area Wolf Pack next. Sports Talk is presented in cooperation with Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton. Third base luncheonette, still making memories after all these years. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. It can happen over time or in a snap. If joint or muscle pain has taken you out of the game, we can identify the root cause of your problem and develop a sport-specific treatment plan to get you moving again. Over 400 medical experts strong. The region's only nationally ranked program. That's Orthopedics in Action at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Welcome back to Sports Talk, your weekly source for Hazleton Area High School football. And Coach Bookman has rejoined us and coached another road game against the Wolfpack of Wilkes-Barre area. And before we talk about the team specifically, this football team and athletic department, give them a lot of credit for all they've gone through through these last couple of years in, in for the formation of Wilkes-Barre area. As an intangible, how dangerous is this team as now they've got a place that they can call home and they want to defend their home turf? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, you know, we know we know what Wilkes-Barre is and what they're capable of in terms of as a, a football program. Um, you know, explosive, dynamic, physical, uh, a lot of guys returning. Uh, veteran coaching staff with Coach Cynthia as the head coach and his staff. We, you know, Coach you know Eddie Michaels has been there forever running their defense. Defense yeah. um, coach since he's brother now has taken over the offense from our understanding, um, and do they have uh, a, a lot of dynamic players then to be able to complement that veteran coaching? Um, you, you talk about you know Makai Nelson. He he has a, a UConn offer as a mm -hmm. as a junior for a reason. Um, you know you, you talk about the McClary kid who can play quarterback and play running back and play wide receiver for them. They have a freshman who plays some quarterback. Um, you know, they, they have Naquan Johnson who's out on the edge. All these guys play both sides of the ball. And then you get into the fact that they have all of their linemen returning from last year and they have the, the Bedner kid who's been playing for four years and he, he's the, their heart and soul up front. And hey, everywhere you look when you watch on film, you, you just you just say, wow, because this team truly is dangerous. They're they're explosive. They're dynamic, and you know we talked to our guys today. You know this is a, this is a class six A district two game. Yep. The only two six A uh, teams in district two here. So th this is going to be a, a great football game on Friday. Coach, best of luck. Hoping for four zero. Thank you so much. Go Cougars. Go Cougars. Mid season form fans can't beat it. So now for President Ryan Mackis. For Coach Dennis Boatman, I'm Marty Burns saying so long. Join us next week. We go over the game against the Wolfpack. We'll get into another road contest against West Scranton and another special guest from the Cougar football team. That's all next week on Sports Talk, brought to you by the Lehigh Valley Health Network, Hazleton.